JC is here with Cypher Sounds and Rosenberg on Hot yeah. 97. Yeah. Today is what we're, what are we calling it? Tuesday? What, no, what do we decide? J Day. J Day. On a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Jay Z's coming by. From a, oh, apparently uh, he's dropping his album today. Yeah. He pushed it up. And we have Tim Westwood here. Did you meet Tim Westwood? We're getting ready. So just get ready for J Day, man. Thanks a lot. Hot hey, 97, Cypher oh. Sounds of Rosenberg. Yeah! Out of nowhere! Yeah. Hovito's here. Oh, out of nowhere. Out of he's nowhere. admiring. He's admiring the red carpet. We spent eight ninety nine for that carpet, Hov. Jay Z just walked in. I thought we were doing Carmen, but Jay Z's no. here. Oh wait, we this Carmen for Jay. Oh, we this Carmen. Yeah, get this guy. We, we even brought in <laughs> cross the pond. We even brought in Tim Westwood from London, so you would feel more comfortable because you know him. And we had to bring in a London bloke, you know, a nice, a nice chap, a London chap to come hang out with us as well. We have wine, we have cheese and crackers. Today, don't be scared to sit down and have a. He's checking things out. Oh, he's out. checking things out. Go ahead. Hey, how Sorry. are you? That's K Fox. K Fox. We stole her from Miami. We stole her. Still K Fox. We got Jay Z in here. The record is out today. What uh, exclusively on Rhapsody.com. We have cheese and crackers set up. We you hear, have wine. You hear, his, you hear his radio oh, voice? <laughs> I'm getting in radio mode. We have Jay-Z here to talk about his record. <laughs> Hove. What's up? Man, thank oh, you so much. No, no, we leave it. It's going to mess up the red carpet. All right, all right close it. It's already here. We use <laughs> tape. We use the red carpet, man. All right. We got it on tape. We paid a lot of money for that red carpet, man. I mean... What's up? Are you guys dressed very spiff? Yeah. We, I dress like this every day, man. Really? No. No, just we're, we're suited up because suited we've, and booty. we don't really uh, talk to billionaires every day. I talk to millionaires every day. I talk, I talk to them. They don't talk back. I was about to say, who are you talking? But to? I talk to them. That's weird. But we have a billionaire here. This guy. And we feel we should yeah, dress right. appropriately. Don't listen to those records. Yo, this <laughs> this guy has a tie on with a t-shirt. <laughs> Shawty Culture! I, mean, I had to keep it Brooklyn just a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hear that? I'm not mad at you. Yo, so how are you? I mean, you're up early today. Yeah. We, we we begged you to come on the show, and we got the word that you were coming down today, and we we lost our pants, man. We got excited. What do you mean, lost our pants? That sounds crazy. <laughs> that sounds crazy. <laughs> that sounds a little crazy, man. I'm gonna lose my pants. Um, so you not you didn't you didn't do the suit thing today? No. Damn, Damn we thought we were gonna I'm working. Oh, you're working this work clothes. Man, it's bright in here. I need these. <laughs> Keep the glasses on, man. Keep it Hollywood right there. Yeah, yeah. Keep it Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's a big day, man. Big day. Album's out. Yes. By the way, they out it's out everywhere now. Oh, it's yeah. everywhere? This isn't exclusive anymore? This yeah, we um you know. Pushed it up. Yeah. It's official today. Yes. Official yeah. tissue. Blue Prince. Rhapsody so had it first though. They had the exclusive. They went, you know. But you wanted it to be September 11th to, to commemor commemorate the first Blueprint album. Absolutely. So, but the demand for it made you push it up. Which is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be. It's got to feel great. But now you have the concert September 11th, which is right. which is sort of, which works out well because it's the same day, but it's also, this is like a, a how the 9-11 tribute thing come together, the answer the call thing? Uh, as the album was approaching, you know, when it got on this side of the year, because I actually was supposed to put this album out last year, um... Oh no, the balloon just fell. Can somebody fix the balloons? Say if he's talking about I'm that. sorry, go ahead. There's no problem. <laughs> Anytime. No, go ahead. We're ready. It, so, when, as it started approaching, you know, I got on this side again, started to pr approach in September. I, I thought it was only right to bring it full circle, being that the first one came out on the 11th. Yeah. Um, and this being the end of the trilogy to put it out on the uh, 11th. And this way we could recognize what happened that day. Because the first time, of course, it wasn't planned. Right. right. You know. But the thing about Blueprint One is people hold that album like sacred to their heart. Like, like that's a lot of people's favorite album. It's like a, a, a classic. My favorite J album. It's my favorite J. Your favorite J album yeah. ever. And I'm like the underground, you know, backpack nerd dude. And I think uh, Reasonable Doubt. But then Blueprint actually probably eclipsed it as my favorite J album. Yeah. So then when you put out Blueprint Three, people are obviously going to compare it to the first one. Why didn't you just put out a, another album? Why did it have to be Blueprint Three? I'm, I'm used to that type of pressure. I put out blueprint. I put out reasonable doubt. You know that was supposed to be the classic. You know. And, yeah, but you never know, did a reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt two. Hold on for a second. <laughs> Call back, so that's, Call back. That's, why back. Okay. that's why I don't get up at six thirty, man. <laughs> guys, cut you off and everything. Right, I'm listening. Volume one. 
<laughs> right? Then right. volume two, then volume three. That was another trilogy. So mm. I wanted this the Blueprint series to be a, a trilogy because of what it represented. The first Blueprint was, you know, those soul samples that I grew up on. It was mm. my Blueprint. Then mm. the Blueprint two was me searching for all the different type of music, you know, that I like. But I didn't have a reason to do the third one. Mm. So I didn't do it for a right. while, and I, I held it off. I did the Black Album after that, and then all those other albums. Um, but you know, it just was fitting right now um, where I, where I am in my career for you know me to set the blueprint for my next uh, journey. Yeah, yeah. Cypher Sounds Rosenberg on Hot ninety seven.